Department of Justice wants to control iTunes Store. And what's wrong with letting the government control iTunes? After winning an antitrust lawsuit against Apple in July, the Department of Justice is attempting to gain further price control over the multinational computer corporation. If the proposed punishments go into effect, Apple would be required to have a court-appointed in-house monitor who would enforce these regulations and make sure the firm abides by them at least 10 years. If you do anything that we don't like, we're going to come in and take over your business. And I'm not vouching for Apple. They have the suicide nets around the factories because they have so many uh, most suicide because of horrible conditions. So I'm not saying these are the greatest people in the world, but just saying that, you know, the DOJ can come in and just tell you how to run your business. Just like us here at InfoWars, you know, occasionally we'll have somebody post a comment on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page or on Planet InfoWars, and then the Secret Service shows up, the Texas Rangers show up, and I'm not making this up, this has actually happened, saying that somebody on your site wrote uh, they don't like the Bush family and they may try to take them out, you know, something cryptic like that, and then they barge in here and demand to talk to us and they get mad when we show them Alex and like, yeah, that's our boss over there. Well, I don't want to talk to that guy who's on air. Well, that's what he does. So it's just situations like that. And you can't let these people run your life. And it just makes me think because in this particular situation, this is Apple who has, you know, a lot of eBooks and so forth. And their main competition is Amazon. You know, Amazon's a big wig. He's hanging out uh, at the Bilderberg conferences now, and he just bought, uh, I believe it was the Washington Post. Yeah, it was the Washington Post. So the guys at Amazon, or at least the head, is doing very well, and now he has the DOJ watching his competition.